Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. I have something in front of me that is absolutely one of the rarest devices that is out there. Something that I've been after for an incredibly long time and I didn't actually know it existed under this branding, Cool Boy. Um, you might be familiar with the Game Theory Admiral and if you aren't, well, it's basically a Fami clone inside of a Game Boy Advance looking thing. One of the reasons it is as popular as it is is obviously because of the branding. It's very similar to the original Game Boy Advance, so obviously for people who collect obscure, knockoff, fake, clone crap like me, it's quite a desirable one on the list. And they are very expensive. When they come up on eBay, they are hundreds of pounds. And uh, I managed to find this one on Sendico, which is a Japanese auction site. I'll uh, leave a link to that below. Um, and this is a completely different branding that turns out to be just a rebrand of the Game Theory Admiral. So I'm incredibly excited to have a look at it. I'm very happy to have one in my collection. Without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Before we get into it, I just want to say a massive thank you to iFixit for sponsoring this video. For a very whoa, for a very long time, I've used this toolkit here. Um, this is my iFixit toolkit, and uh, I actually got this before my videos were sponsored uh, by iFixit, and it's an absolutely stunning toolkit. My only complaint is that it's just too big but recently they released a couple of small toolkits which are just absolutely stunning and my favorite one here is the Minow. I'm going to be unboxing this one on my second channel so I'll leave a link to that but this one here is just such an attractive looking toolkit for someone who takes apart Game Boys and stuff like that. I mean if you look at the size difference and I love as well how it's just like a little miniature version of the big one and you would not believe that this is only £10 or $14. The only thing I would say is the screwdriver is plastic and a lot of the uh, pedigree and premium feel comes from that aluminium screwdriver or aluminum screwdriver that they have but fortunately for you they sell them separately and I don't think these are that expensive I think they might be a tenner or something like that um, but that is just going to obviously make the whole thing feel way higher quality because this is a stunning little screwdriver and it's going to fit in there absolutely perfectly so you've still got the exact same kit just with the higher quality screwdriver bit and it's got the tri-wing in there, it's got the Phillips, it's got your flathead, it's got some torque bits, it's got some other ones and that's all you need. I'm so excited, you're gonna see this in my videos a lot in the future. Go and check out ifixit.com. What did I just say? <laughs> Go and check out ifixit.com forward slash retro future. There'll be links in the description below. I can't speak today, let's get into the video. Wide color screen, true colors image, direct plug with TV, clear LCD display, compatible with more than 1,000 8-bit games. Cool boy, colorful hand-hold game machine, <laughs> for goodness sake. The SBZ01. You've got a couple of pictures up here. Um, things start to look a little bit more interesting when you see the, uh, the state of that. Um, spear parts, transform eight. Bits, game, cards times two pieces. What? Thousands of 8-bit games for updating. Digital crystal panel. Uh, we've got the TV connect, we've got on off, we've got light value, power light, we've got the speak it. Uh, we've also got the operate button, joystick 2, 4.5 volt, DC joystick, select, restart, start, control pad. Deferent type of batteries cannot be mixed is recommended. Don't mix new and old batteries. Don't use rechargeable batteries. I will be using rechargeable batteries. Alkaline batteries are recommended to use. Don't mix alkaline batteries. Carbon bat batteries. They've used the word batteries 20 times and they spelt that one as batteries and rechargeable Batteries. <laughs> Don't charge the batteries when they are not rechargeable. <laughs> what are they doing here? Just listing off all the things you shouldn't do in your life. Right, I think that's enough of that. Um, I can only take so much of it and I've had enough. That looks fairly familiar. That cheap yellow plastic. The Oh dear, I'm excited. We've got a little thing up here. Woad color screen. I mean, it's just the English on this is just terrific. There's the actual device itself. We'll take a look at that in a second. We've got a game cartridge here. Uh, we've got Sudoku 4 in 1 Super Game. I'm sure that is going to be terrible. Uh, we've got a Famicom cartridge here or a Famiclone cartridge, which has Super Fight 1, Boxing, Aerial Hero, and Play Dice. 
And then lastly, we have the connector. So that is gonna do it for the packaging. I'm gonna mix all the batteries that I possibly have. These are two rechargeable ones and a non-rechargeable one. Is it gonna work? No. In an incredibly inconvenient turn of events, the thing doesn't work. Um, surprise, surprise, I've tried lots of different things. I've even got an adapter. It's the same size as the Game Boy, so I've got this USB cable, um, and I plugged that into the wall. I've also plugged it into this little power bank, and uh, it doesn't work. So that's very frustrating. Uh, I've tried it with a game in, I tried it with a game out. Um, I did notice there's a bunch of corrosion on the battery contacts. So let's open this thing up. We can use our iFixit toolkit, which is convenient. Oh wait, there's a couple more up there. We haven't even had a look at the device yet. I mean, ugh, worst review ever. Okay, off with you. Right. Okay, well it looks fairly clean in there, you know. Um, the contact there looks pretty corroded, and but that one looks all right. So I'm thinking, let's get this out a bit further, give the rest of it a clean, just to make sure that everything's good on the other side. Although it does look like it's actually new, because you've still got the film on the front there. Um, we'll make sure that it's not corroded on the other side. We'll scrub up those and hopefully get this thing to work. But I'm not sure why it wouldn't work on the... Uh, the mains, that's confusing. But at least we get to have a look at the actual motherboard itself. And I would definitely say that I've seen a lot worse. This actually looks fairly competent and high quality. Um, I mean, not as high quality as the original Game Boy, but I've certainly seen a lot, lot worse. And you've got to remember, although this thing isn't that old, it is still very impressive that they managed to condense that entire console into this one device. Because uh, this thing has been around for a little while. Right, how's that coming out? There we go. So let's remove the screen. That's just done with this little latch here. And take that out. The backlight, interestingly, is separately connected to the motherboard, so we'll have to be really careful with that. Toothbrush, isopropyl alcohol, and a little bit of scrubbing. It works! It bloody works. Right, that doesn't look that good though. It works! Right, let's put it back together. So let's take a look at this device then before we turn it on. As you can see, it does look a lot like a Game Boy. Here is an actual Game Boy Advance. Um, a lot of similarities. The screen is a little bit smaller, but that sort of bezel does make it look a little bit bigger. Uh, you've got your A and B buttons here, the speaker's in the same location, power uh, light is in the same location as well. Your D-pad's a little bit different, the D-pad actually does feel really nice though. You've got your start and select, all of that sort of stuff's in the exact same location. The only big difference is the reset button, which is very hard to get to. You've got a joystick connector on the bottom, you've got your DC in, you've got another joystick connector there. Because obviously this is a Famicom, there is going to be uh, two player support. Um, you've got a TV out on the top, you've got your volume, you've got your contrast, your on and off button, your cartridge connector at the back, which is going to make it look very similar to a Game Boy, and your battery port and your little lanyard hole. I should mention, this has not come with any cables, so I'm not sure if Cool Boy had further peripherals that were available um, to buy a joystick and whatnot, but that looks a lot like a Game Boy uh, Link connector port, and uh, I've never seen a joystick with that on the end of it, so you'll have to tell me what we actually need to use to put in there. So this is the game that it came with, the Sudoku 4-in-1, Sudoku, however you say that word. Right, so we've got Shudu, Tank, Lawn Purge, and Fish... It's turned off. Why is it turned off? <laughs> God, this thing's run out of battery. That's not even remotely long enough. Well, the rest of this video will continue on the floor since this cable is two foot long. So uh, let's take a look at this device. So the little game cartridge it came with has five games. We've got Shudu, we've got Tank, we've got Lawn Purge, Fish War, and Boxes World. Let's have a look at Boxes World because that sounds very familiar. New game. 
that Fera Xhaka? It is. Okay, well, everybody knows this game. You just have to push the boxes. Oh. Why is... Why is the D-pad not working? Oh, there we go. Oh, up is just very hard to... Oh, the whole D-pad is very hard to press. This is exhilarating. How have I never heard of this unit before? It must have been very popular. I imagine when this thing was new and the batteries actually worked in it, this would have been fairly decent. But yeah, there's, there's absolutely no way that this was ever going to be that popular. And lo and behold, how many of you heard of the Game Theory Admiral when you were younger? Right, we're turning this off. So the inbuilt game had some very basic games on it, but what about the Famiclone cartridge it comes with that honestly weighs lighter than air? Um, but yeah, let's plug that in. For this, you'll need the connector doohickey thing. So let's plug that in, and then we shall plug this connector into the back of the cool boy. Ugh. That's not gonna work. Why? Right, we've got Super Fight. 889. We've got Boxing Wrestle. Which one is it? We've got Dice and we've got Aerial Hero. Let's try uh, Super Fight. Right, how's that anything to do with fighting? Let's get off this horrendous sushi chess nonsense. Oh, here we go. This looks good. It's Jorge Masvidal versus Usman. Right, come on. What are we seeing here? What's even happening? The punch button doesn't work. Which one is the punch button? Who am I? Have we even... Is this even us? I paused it. Nothing makes any sense. Nothing's happening. No buttons do anything. I can just about move. Is anyone getting punched? Oh, look. We're pressing forward. Am I even that guy? I don't know. Oh, oh I died. Someone died. We're turning this off. So the only next logical thing to do is play a knockoff of Super Mario with arguably the best artwork I've ever witnessed in my life. Let's shove that in and turn it on. That looked good. So look, I'm not going to lie, this thing works really well. There's absolutely no way uh, that it's better than a Game Boy. Um, it's not trying to be a Game Boy, it's trying to just sell some units because it looks like a Game Boy. Um, I would probably have still really liked this when I was younger because anything portable that was this competent would have been nice. The quality of it really lets it down. It's very hard to play Super Mario and talk and look at several different cameras. I don't know what's going on. The, the fact that the emulation isn't ideal, nothing really works very well. I wouldn't say that this is the best thing in the world, but I'm obviously not recommending that people go out and buy this now. You know, $150 is just not worth it. Um, unless you're a collector and you just want one very badly. Um, that's probably going to wrap it up for this video. Sorry I ended on the floor. Um, I am really trying. This has been a very difficult video to film with the fact that it didn't work and the fact that the cable is one foot long. Um, but yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed regardless. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are of the cool boy or the game theory admiral. And uh, yeah, leave a like. I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.